Moving past a loss like the one Duke just suffered, definitely easier said than done. But with a Maryland team right in front of them with plenty to play for on Wednesday night, no time to be looking in the rear view. Yeah, that extra motivation for their former coach Gary Williams had the court at Comcast Center named in his honor before the game. Williams, of course, the winningest coach in Maryland history in his 22 years, including an NCAA championship in 2002. His Terps breaking in the new floor well at the start. Peshawn Howard knocking down the three. He had it working. On the other end, though, got to check uh, the Plumleys. There's Mason to Miles on the alley-oop jam there. The Terps answering back, though. Terrell Stoglin, the leading scorer in the conference for a reason. Stoglin getting to the cup with the sickness there. He had 16 points in the ball game. Mason Plumley, though, was a handful in this game. Gets into the painted area. He is tough to stop. Hits the hook shot. He had 12 points in the first half. On to the second half now. Things still close. Maryland still very much game on their home floor. There's Howard knocking in another three. His team down by one. Maryland now up one. And the big fella, the youngster, Alex Lynn hitting the jumper. Terps out by three. But did I mention a fella named Mason Plum? He is a beast. Reverse jam there. Duke out by seven late. And then there's Plumley doing his thing close to the basket again. How about 23 points, 12 rebounds. His 23 points, too shy of his career high as Duke gets the win, improving to 5-1 and one in conference play. The Turks, meanwhile, suffer their first loss on Gary Williams' court. 